That's not good. already seen three elephants just on the side of the road in a private national park well a private park so that's pretty cool so we're excited we have to sign a waiver to say that the national park is not responsible for any death or bodily injury whatsoever sustained in this park by the animals world of beast so we haven't even reached the gate yet and huge elephant Wow. Ah, this is going to be good. So we've got our pass and we haven't had to pay because we've got a wild card which gets us into all the camps around South Africa, Lesotho and uh, Swaziland or um, yeah, Eswatini as it's now called. Oh, sorry. I have to press the button twice. <laughs> To let to open all the other doors, and I always forget. How much was that wild card for both of us? About uh, two hundred fifty pounds. Two hundred fifty pound for two of us. Yeah, and it lasts for a year, so it's it's pretty good. Um, I don't know how much it is to get in the camp each day. It was about four hundred and something rand. So you pay it every day. But that's sixteen pound a day. So we're here for the like, for next four days, and then there's all the other camps as well. So yeah, it works out really good. So Kruger National Park, I read somewhere, apparently it's as big as Wales. So it's huge. The roads look quite good. So we don't have to check in here, we have to actually just go to our campsite and then check in. So that's about an hour's drive, but I'm hoping to see a lot of wildlife on the way. I remembered. <laughs> First time. There's poo everywhere. Look at that. Chloe's going to take a taste of it to see what it is. <laughs> when we got to South Africa, we bought some binoculars for 50 quid. Hopefully they're all right. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're really good. Just spotted a giraffe. Just there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We're heading to a water hole now. Uh, we just saw it on the side of the road, so we're going to check it out. But yeah, is it a giraffe a big five or not? Yeah, one of the big five. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Cheetah? Maybe a cheetah, yeah. We're not sure. They're just like strikey horses, aren't they, really? With a little bit of a, a mallet. So we just spotted some more elephants. So there's one just over here, you can see. And then there's one hiding behind these trees. <laughs> but it is there. So the one that was hiding behind the tree has a little baby. So we've just spotted a giraffe ahead of us in the road. We're going to slow down so that we don't scare it. So there's actually two giraffes and they're crossing the road. That's six giraffes we've seen so far. So we've just spotted another elephant on the side of the road. This is the closest one we've seen since the first one.
so the actual like tour guides ahead of us has just gone right next to it. We actually backed off because we were a little bit scared. Uh, <laughs> so they've just gone right next to it. So that's where we're going to go now. We've just seen our first hippo in the wild. I'll get the binoculars and zoom in on it. So it's no David Attenborough, but uh, yeah. There's some hippos, loads of hippos. How many did you say? Uh, I've counted 10 so far. I think there's probably more. They're the most dangerous animal uh, around here. Like, more dangerous than all the others. You can see uh, them just hiding as well in the water. Yeah. So we've arrived at our camp for the night, Satari uh, Camp in Kruger National Park. In total, how many elephants do we see? 11? Sure, 10 elephants. Oh, 11. 11 elephants yeah. and nine nine giraffes, loads of hippos, 16 hippos, uh, what else, loads of zebras, loads of uh, wildebeest. wildebeest. But anyway, so we've arrived at our camp. We had a minute, we had to fill the water up because the water we've been drinking had way too much chlorine in and it would just burn your throat. So we had to empty that, like 60 litres of it. We had to empty it all and then we brought two five litre bottles of water to then keep refilling at the campsite to then fill the fill the 60 litre container. It's the only way we could do it of what we've got. However, luckily someone came over with a hose when they saw what we were doing. So then we could uh, we could fill this this uh, with the hose instead of using what however many bottles of those. Those are five litres, so like 30 of those. Okay, that's done now. So we've got nice clean water coming out of there. I'm just wasting and we're gonna chill out it's only like 12 o'clock but the sun's just above us so we've got a little bit of a shade here with the tent and we're gonna have a coffee and a bite to eat before rinsing some more of our clothes but yeah we're in quite a good spot we went somewhere on the fence line so just out there is danger lions hippos rhinos but inside the fence where our tent is is safety so we can look out at danger at night. Hopefully we might see some like hyenas tonight, um, some wild dogs or lions, uh, but we're safe here. But Chloe did just bring up a good point. What was that point? <laughs> so there's totally no animals within our camp, but there's loads of little deer or antelope wandering around so they can get in somehow. Yeah, so <laughs> if deer can get in, lions can get in, but I'm sure there's a gate that allows antelope in and stuff. <laughs> Or, or deer? I don't know. Yeah. Something small enough? I don't know. They must be watching it. Yeah. So Chloe is doing an experiment, something she saw online. She's going to try and make omelettes in a bag. So you're frying the stuff now, yeah? Yeah, so I'm frying tomatoes and onions. And then apparently you can just put eggs into a freezer bag and then you can boil it and it should cook it like an omelette. So, so yeah. We're gonna see, and then, uh, and then I guess we just fridge, fridge those and then you just freezer boil bags. Them to yeah, heat. boil them to heat them up. Just something easy to do, I guess. Um, I'm gonna get the grill on in a minute. We've got some chicken wings to cook. We're gonna do that with like a blue cheese salad and uh, and some corn on the cob on the side. All we've been doing really for the last five hours is uh, drinking tea, drinking coffee, drinking mate. Had a shower. It's now a bit cooler, so the flies are going away and mosquitoes will come out in a bit. And uh, yeah, just had a glass of wine and uh, doing a bit of video editing for this. So that's tomato, onion, and uh, seasoning, and egg. And cheese. And cheese, and cheese. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, moment of truth. Wow, I see an omelette. 
I'm mm. in a bag. <laughs> Obviously, you're probably asking, why don't you just fry them like a normal omelette? Well, yeah. But if this works, we can do multiple bags at a time. And then we can do like four omelettes in the time it takes you to do one. It's a gimmick more than anything, I think. I just wanted to try it. Four omelettes in the time it takes you to do one. Because we have no time. <laughs> We have no time. It's not like we're traveling the world for two years. Uh, yeah, we have no time. We need to do four omelets in, in the time it takes normal people to do one. So it's a bit dark out here. You see my uh, nose shining up. We probably, it was a nice meal, but we probably ate uncooked chicken. So we'll probably be up in about a few hours being sick. But apart from that, I saw a hyena just over here, which you can't see, but I saw a hyena just walking along the fence and it was massive. Like I didn't think hyenas were that big, like a wolf, I guess, but like more shaggy. Good morning, it is uh, five o'clock in the morning. Today we're heading to Lower Sabi, uh, which is about four hours south of us, and uh, hopefully we'll see lots of animals. There's an omelette in a bag. And look who has just got here for breakfast. Who wants an omelette in a bag? He's big. Okay, we are good to go. It is now six o'clock. So let's go see some wildlife. I'm gonna hunt for lion. I'm gonna hunt for rhino. I think we've seen lots of baboons ahead. So we just spotted an elephant in the bush. We haven't seen anything for ages, so it's quite nice. There's always a little bit of fear that it's going to charge you. Wow, it's amazing. Pretty insane, it's really close as well. It's always a little bit scary with an elephant. An elephant is the only thing that can really attack you and probably kill you whilst in a vehicle. So we just found our first giraffes of the day and there is five of them, you say, Chloe? So we've got a bit of a tally going here. And elephants and giraffes have been quite even, but elephants took the lead yesterday, but with those five giraffes, we're now on 14 giraffes and 11, no, 12 elephants. So giraffes take the lead. Well, apart from all the wildebeest and zebras. 16 hippos. Zero lions and zero rhinos, rhinos so far, but it's only 8, 17, so. We got time. Okay, three more elephants, and there's a sort of babyish one as well. Uh, okay, so this is what this is what I'm saying. Elephants everywhere. So there's one, another in front of us, like immediately after the others, and there's another one in the distance as well. This one's huge though. This one's massive. 
Is that a baby one as well? There's two in the tree line. There's a real baby one. Oh, so it's going to be protective, isn't it? So right next to the other ones we just saw, there's even more elephants. There's an even smaller baby one with them. The adult is just hiding the elephant. Oh, here it goes. Oh, wow. It's literally like tiny, like half the height of us. So we've just seen our first lion. It's pretty crazy. Wow. So he seems like he's by himself. There's no other. Uh, no other lions about, but it looks quite small it's compared small to what I've seen. It's prob and it's by himself, so he's probably like a young, young male that's like venturing off by himself, trying to create a pride, I imagine. But yeah, he's just under the trees. Uh, it's nearly midday now, so he's probably just trying to get a little bit of shade. Just found this massive spider web. with a nest right in the middle. Ugh. happening. Maybe they're itching each other, maybe it's something to do with mating. I don't think they're fighting. Oh, we've distracted them then. Wow, so we've got three, four elephants on the move ahead. Four. And there's a baby there as well. Unexpected. So that's another four to the tally. How many is that? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven elephants. Twenty-seven elephants. <laughs> wow. Okay, they're just over there. Cool. That. It looks big. It looks massive. He's flapping his ears. So probably not a good thing. I read earlier that like if they've got babies with them, then they can get quite aggressive. So we just stopped for some water buffalo and we've got three elephants ahead of us. Two adults and a baby, maybe mother, father and baby. So we should just go back a little bit. Father elephant has gone into the water to have a swim. So, last time you heard of us, uh, from us, we were videoing the elephant. It got out of the water and uh, it started like sort of flapping its ears at us directly, which I think I got on camera. So I turned the engine on and it started like walking towards us quite fast. So I just ended up just beelining it forward. 
if an elephant is chasing me, I'd rather be going forward than reversing. And it's uh, it hooted its well, it made a sound at us. It got us quite scared. We were quite uh, got the adrenaline going. Yeah, yeah. Probably should have gone back slowly, but again, if it started charging us, I would prefer to be going forward, driving forward, and reversing away from it. Um, yeah, yeah, probably because we were in between it and its uh, car, but yeah. Anyway, now we have a giraffe in front of us, so we'll just wait here until it goes. It is day five. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, there's loads there as well. And we are in Kruger National Park still, and there are a lot of elephants around us. Surprise, surprise. It is five o'clock in the morning, there's three over there, and there's just one on the side of the road here. Hello, Mr. Elephant. It's a small one, but we're probably gonna get rammed by a larger one. Uh, there's elephants everywhere here. Yeah, so today we are hoping to find rhinos, cheetahs and leopards. We've got about an... Oh, there's another elephant. I think that was six we've just seen, so we can add that to the tally. We're going to try and get to a hundred elephants today as well. Um, anything else we need to see, Chloe? Um, we need to snow a rhino. Some more lions would be nice. We've spotted another elephant. We've just seen an ostrich or a big bird.
Okay, so we're in our camp for uh, our third camp in Kruger and we've got our tally of how many animals we saw. So, Chloe's here with the tally sheet. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so what we got for elephants, Chloe? So we saw 139 elephants in total. Uh, what about giraffes? 45 giraffes. And lions? Three. Three. What about wildebeest? I've just put lots because we can count them. <laughs> uh, what about uh, rhinos? No rhinos. And what else have we got? Hippos. How many hippos do you think we saw? I think we saw... 30? Nearly. 33? No. 32? <laughs> Zebras, I've just put lots because again they're always in herds and I can't count them. Yeah. yeah. But overall, <laughs> brilliant trip uh, for three days in the Kruger National Park. Not even three days. And uh, we've seen all that. Oh, and uh, two hyenas. Two hyenas. Oh, and like five tortoises as well. Oh, and like hyenas. lots of antelope or impalas, deer, loads and loads of that. Next time. Could be a crocodile. I think it's a crocodile. Hmm. <laughs>